hello there, my fellow Minecraft and Crafters. Good times. We'll start here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we return to our tent building to finish our snowman farm. So let's get this episode underway. And welcome back to Scarland, and it's always great to have you here for another super awesome project. In our last episode, we built the tent for our little snowman friend. In today's episode, we're going to finish it up by adding the automation to it and some of the fancier designs. So let's get into it here. So I've been collecting some of the materials we're going to be needing here, and I've gotten some of them together. So we got lots of our cookies and cream block. We have our uh, non-polished and polished versions ready to go. We've got our ice here all set up, and is that good for everything here? Let's see, let's see, we'll grab that extra chest, I guess, and then we'll move on over here. And then let's see, we've got our carpet, we've got our snow, snow, we've got our Olaf materials, and then, I, oh, I've made some stained glass, so let me grab that. Yes, this will look very cool, I forgot about that, there we go. And I think that's all good. I think that's all good. So let's do it. So like I said in our prior episode, we built an amazing tent that will hold our snowman golem, which we'll be able to get lots and lots of snow for our future terraforming projects. So there it is out in the distance there. So let's get onto our temporary little bridge here. And as you can see, there it is. And one thing we learned in our last episode we don't settle for anything. We try to get a fresh perspective and get right back into it when we're not 100% satisfied. And that's what we did. We found the interior here needed a little bit of a oomph. So uh, we did that. All right. So I've hollowed out the bottom down there to uh, kind of get that going a little bit. So right here, of course, this is where our little Olaf friend will live. So here he is. We're going to put him there. Now, we're not actually going to call him Olaf. We need a real name for him. We need a real name for him. A real... Uh, you know, um, nice name for him. So I want you guys to help me come up with a really good name for this guy. So definitely do that. So you can leave it to me on uh, on Twitter or Facebook. So leave me a comment. Definitely let me know what we should name this guy. Oh, oh don't escape. Don't escape. No, no, no. There we go. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, set him in there like that for now as we start to get some of the basic um, underground work here done. I kind of just want him there for company, you know. Just a little bit of company. But yeah, uh, I want you guys to help me come up with a really cool name for them. All right, there we go. And can we name them with a name tag? I think we can. I think we can. And I have like three name tags, so that would be definitely really fun. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to get out our hoppers. And right here, we're just going to put a hopper down right there. I'm going to put a hopper down right there. And we're going to start to surround this guy with this design. Now, this is the most efficient way I've come up with. I'm sure there's probably better ways, but... Yeah, I'm just kind of proud of this design, came up with this. It's super easy, super simple to put together. So hopefully you guys are able to um, follow along and implement it into your own world. So that would be definitely awesome to see. Oh, 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 scar mistakes and breaking legs. Did you hear the sound? <laughs> Did you hear the sound? All right, let me get back over here and fix this. There we go. All right, we'll try not to break my any more legs. No more leg breaking. There we go. And then we're going to place that final one. So like like we've been doing here, you shift click and then click the other hopper and you create a nice little surround here like so. Now I want to uh, clear out the stuff here. Wonderful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this all out of the way. I'm going to grab some chests. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to knock you out and I'm going to go like this. Let me see if I can grab a hold of that. There we go. And I'm going to angle the chest out this way like so. So super, super fancy. This is going to look really cool. Now, you might be guessing there may be a conflict when we put our flooring here, but I've got a solution how to fix that. We'll, we'll be doing in a moment with some carpet. There we go. And then I'm going to knock out this guy right here and then just continue to carry on this design along here. Oops. Oh, oh mistakes. Oh, mistakes. There we go. Awesome. Very nice. And then we'll knock that guy out and knock that out and clear out our extra little bits of scaffolding here. There we go. Very cool. So... How are we doing so far? How do you guys like the tent? Any improvements that we can make or anywhere you guys think that, oh, I think this would look really good. Definitely let me know. I love hearing your guys' feedback on this. So if you see somewhere like we could add some more detail or a new design here or there, definitely let me know. Definitely let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. There we go. And then from here, I'm going to go like that. And then I can't do it. So I'm just going to make a little extra scaffolding and connect that. Beautiful. And then, of course, we're going to do the same right there and slip on over here and of course you guessed it doing the same pattern as you can see how we're kind of connecting these pieces together so super super cool now it's a lot of work for just a little snowman farm but uh it'll come in a lot of it'll come in handy this will definitely come in handy when we need extra materials and things like that 
And as you can see, I actually need to probably open this back end over here just a little bit more. Um, this area needed to be expanded just a little bit more. So we'll just cut out all the stone here. There we go. Get that all out of there. Get that all out of here. Get that all out of here. There we go. Almost across there. There we go. And there, there's an ice block there. I must have left that there when I was kind of playing around with design a little bit. I was trying to like see if I can add something along here and um, I think it'll be pretty cool. So I'm gonna try to do something neat back here. I was kind of playing with some ice and then I forgot like I didn't have a silk touch so there was water everywhere. It was a big disaster. I thought I cleaned it all up. <laughs> barely not, barely not. There we go, wonderful. And then right here, there we go. And one more right here. Awesome, wonderful, there we go. So let's clear that out. Our shovel is nearing its end of its life, so that's a bit of a problem. I really gotta fix that. Okay, there we go, looking super fancy. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a basic floor. So we're just gonna make a basic floor, so we're just gonna get out some floor materials, get that out of there, get that going. Okay, wonderful. And then let's see, let's find the part right about, let's say right about here. So right about there, and then I'm just gonna waste a block. There we go and start to bring these across here. So what I like to do lately, this is kind of my favorite floor design I've been doing, is these kind of staggered patterns with lots of different details. You know, not one thing symmetrical or anything, trying to break that a little bit. Minecraft sometimes can be way too symmetrical, which can be a really good thing and a really nice looking design, but um, yeah, we gotta mix things up once in a while, you know? Gotta mix things up. There we go. And then I'm going to take that out for now and I am going to put a little bit of snow. Just, let's see what this is. It's just a little bit of carpet like that and so much kind of variety to it. It really looks like a packed floor full of snow. And then, you know, of course, we can even put a piece of snow here or there. But I actually like the carpet design better. See how that's a little bit kind of a greenish tone? Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna remove that for now. Kind of don't like that. <laughs> kind of don't like that. And I would rather see some other design put in here. All right, there we go. And then let's see, we'll just bring those across here. And there's probably some blocks back in here and around that I need to add. So there we go. All right, and then add this. So this is kind of what I was kind of playing with a little bit before I started the episode. So I wanted something down here that had some ice. See how that is? I like that. I think that looks nice. There we go. And then I'm actually gonna go like that. There we go. And then I'll bring this in over here like that. See how it just adds that little extra detail back there? I think that looks pretty nice. And there we go, put that right there. And whoop, whoop, mistakes, mistakes. Mistakes were made. There we go. And then we can kind of bring this up like that. And I think what would look actually pretty cool is if we knock this one out here and put that right there. Yeah, and you know, we could even get even fancier. We can get fancier, we can. We can always get a little fancier. Actually, I feel like I'm gonna get super fancy. Go like that. Have that whole back of that side be ice and then maybe not do that on this side over here. That might be pretty cool. That might be pretty cool. So let me finish this up and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And look at this, looking super fancy. Okay, so a few things we're gonna need back here are, let's see, let's add actually one of those. And then I'm thinking about pushing this back too. It just looks nice. Like it just looks nice to kind of have that little bit extra design back here. So I'm just gonna do that over here too. Uh, I wasn't originally going to, but you know, when you see design or inspiration, you seize that opportunity. You seize it, you see something cool and you're like, that's what we gotta do and no matter what, no matter what. All right, there we go. Nice, 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 I like this, this looks good. You know, of course, I may come in here, you know, adjust some of the eyes here or there, but for the most part, I like it. I put some uh, torches under some of these carpet pieces here, and you could look under the ice and you can see some dirt, but those are things we can fix off camera and not to bore you guys with. There we go, just adding a little extra light up here so we can see what we're doing. Let's do a bob check, I'm doing a bob check. Looks good, we're good, we're good. Don't worry, don't worry. We're good. Okay, so I'm gonna grab out some of these materials here. I think I had them in my inventory, but I threw them out. And then let's see, this is carpet. So this is what we're gonna do over here. This is our way around our little predicament about putting a solid block on top of our chest like this. We're just gonna put some carpet up here like that. And our problems are solved. There we go, our problems are very much solved. And then we'll put that guy right there. And then we'll just kind of continue this pattern over here. 
I think it'll look really nice to kind of have the floor all assembled up here, kind of have this nice snow feel, but also kind of a stone. It it feels like a like glacier. I heard something. Did you hear something? Are we good? We're good. All right, all right. It's kind of scary there for a second. I thought I heard something spooky. But anyway, um, it reminds me of like Mount Hood. If you're familiar, this is a mountain that I live near, and it's. Um, I think it's one of the most beautiful mountains in the world, uh, Mount Hood. It's such a beautiful shape and stuff like that. And whenever I see these cookies and cream block, it reminds me of two things, Mount Hood and cookies and cream ice cream. So there are two things. These are the two things that these blocks remind me of. And uh, I was looking at Mount Hood just yesterday. Oh, it looks really nice with all the snow and stuff like that. It's just got such a nice shape. One thing um, you can do, which is really cool, you can see it just very, very, very few times a year. Um, you can see where I live all five mountains, I think it is. I think it's like five or so. Um, not exactly like from my house, but you get, you know, drive away a little bit. But once you, you kind of get into a little bit of an open area, you can see like Mount Hood, Mount Adams. Sometimes if you get in the right spot, maybe the sisters, but Mount St. Helens. And if you're super duper lucky, you can see Mount Rainier up by Seattle. And it's super cool to see all those mountains together. Um, it's really cool. All right, um, let's see. I always love the mountains. I, I, I love the beach, but I also really, really love the mountains. Like I love like big, tall like mountains that have snow and stuff like that. I've always really liked that. I always wanted kind of like a mountain house. That's why I guess we've built mountain houses and different stuff like that in the past. Um, but that's something that's always like appealed to me um, is to have like, this is a dream. So this is a dream is to have a mountain house and a beach house all in the same time. Like if you were if you were super rich, like if you were a Minecrafter, like Minecraft right now, like and you had like all you had resources and you could do whatever you want, I'd build those two houses. A house by the beach and a house in the mountains. I think that would just be the most amazing thing in real life or something like that. If we were like super, super rich and could do that, oh that would be so cool. To have like a vacation house in both those places. Those are like my two favorite places. You combine those together, oh, it'd be amazing be amazing all right so we're just kind of working on our flooring a little bit here just trying to get some design going here as you can see we want to add a lot of snow and eventually once we get our terraforming going we're going to have a waterfall and a frozen river along here but uh, that will come in time that will come in time all good things always come in time there we go there we go very cool just kind of mixing up the design a little bit here and there We'll put lots of finishing touches on this eventually. Just trying to get the very, very basic design going here like that. Very, very cool. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Okay, very cool. So next we're going to do, we want to get our little hatches out. So we'll clear all this out of the way. Grab our grab our stairs. And then let's see, we need to bring you up one more block and then hatch. <laughs> very cool. So also would like to add a little more ice to this. We don't quite have enough ice. Don't have a quite enough ice up here. There we go. And then, whoop, nope, 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 that's not incorrect. That's a scar mistake right there. And then we'll put our hatch right there. Looking super fancy. Looking super, super duper fancy. Awesome. So give me one second. Let me kind of catch my breath for a moment and I'll be right back. And welcome back. Did anybody ever notice that this cat's name's Jelly and it's been hidden forever? Like this cat, I named this cat and I literally forgot that I named it because it got back there and I never saw it anymore. We finally named a cat Jelly in this world. We finally used a name tag and then we lost it. And then we found it again. So that's all awesome. We found a Jelly again. Ha <laughs> ha. Wonderful. All right. So let's get back to work here. And there is our little snow tent over here looking super fancy. And we've got lots and lots of materials now to kind of get this all finished up and ready to go. As you can see, we're adding lots of detail. Lots and lots of detail will be kind of put in here. And eventually, it'll take time to get it all assembled. Like getting all the little things, like the landscaping and different pieces. Like this is, I consider this the landscaping, what we're doing right now. Like I consider this the landscaping for this area. Um, it'll take a little, a little while, but uh, we're getting there. All right, so I'm going to clear that out for now and get out some of these materials, which I'm super excited about. So I think I'm going to go with these two for now. And what we're going to do here is we're going to, let's see, I'm going to grab out the purple and we're going to try to encase the snowman in something a little bit nicer than what he's in at the moment. So I think I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right there. And then I'm going to grab out some temporary block, of course. And then I'm going to put that up to there and right there. 
and then remove these guys down here. So we're starting to kind of get something. We're starting to get something. So what this is, is like a giant kind of crystal. What this reminds me of as we're kind of going along is a little big planet. Now I've never played any of the current ones. I've never played, you know, little planet, big, little big planet. You know, I think they're on three right now, right? I think, I think it's three, but I played the original. Um, I played the original. I absolutely love that game. That game was absolutely amazing. Uh, one of the problems with it was I got very, very, very sick um, about maybe two weeks after it was released, and I wasn't able to play anything back then when it, the original one was released for months. And then I, I kind of like fell out of it. Like I, at the start of it, I was playing it like crazy. I, I had some really fun things built, and one of them was this snow kind of obstacle course that looks kind of like this a little bit. Um, then I also had this crazy thing where you were in a jungle and you had to escape, but there was these mischievous monkeys up to no good trying to prevent you from your escape. <laughs> it was so much fun. And is he going to escape from that? He can. He definitely can escape from that. So, hmm. Trying to think of another way of doing this. What if we actually go up a little bit higher like that and then we go like that? I think that would be better. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. I like that because what we could do then is get in between here. So that's way better. Yeah, that's better. But anyway, um, yeah, so it was super cool. Like he went through all the, you had to jump through a lot of hoops and different things to get away from these mischievous monkeys. But um, they were out to get you. And uh, well, they were, they were up to no good. And you were kind of like the police guy of the jungle or something. And these guys were, you know, they were they were they were doing their bananas and doing all sorts of funny things and it was cool. It actually got some decent ratings like in their look the rating scheme of things. Um, it did pretty well. Um, so it, it was uh, it was really fun. But I've never played the the new ones. So that's what I want you guys to do. Let me know. Let me know. What's what's Little Big Planet like these days? If you've uh, played it or not. Um, let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say if that uh, if that game's maybe worth Picking up sometime, maybe. There we go. And look at that. It's starting to look good. It's starting to look good. Like, I'm liking the looks of it so far. I'm liking the looks of it so far. But I'm almost feeling like it needs a little something else. Like a little, maybe some some pains. Maybe some pains. Maybe some white pains to kind of give it a little frosty feel. A little frosty feel it does. Maybe. We'll see. I'm trying to get on here. There we go. Awesome. Um, yeah, I think the purple looks good for now. Um, but I'm going to make some paints and I'm going to see what that looks like and incorporate a little bit more blue into the tower. So let me get some more paints and I'll be right back. All right. So one thing I've done over here is I've gone ahead and added some torches down here. Now I don't have any glowstone, so we're just going to go with torches for now, but we're just going to fill these in like so. And it'll start to give some light for the tent in here. I'd like to add some more light here and there, but for the most part, I think that's going to be good and hold us down for enough time. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push these out like this. There we go. This is what kind of cool. Go out here like that. Awesome. This really kind of gives it like a little sparkly feel. Very cool. Very cool. Now we're going to give it the frosty feel. So we've got the sparkly. Now we got a frosty feel. There we go. All right. Now we're up here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go like this. I'm going to surround this like so. There we go. And now we're going to grab out our white stain, which kind of gives it that frosty feel. There we go. Get that in there. Sweet. And then we're going to head on down. Nice. Nice. This looks like our jellyfish um, things a little bit. Awesome. So one other, there's a small little touch I want to add to the top here. I'd like to add one of these to the very top if I can. Sorry, I'm going to have to sacrifice you. It's for the greater good. There we go. There we go. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. There we go. So now when we come over here, we can um, you know, have something nice to look at when we get our snow. Look at that. That is pretty darn awesome. There's so many more things I want to do with the landscaping, but um, that will have to come in time. That will definitely have to come in time. We'll have to uh, do some live streams. So definitely follow me on Twitch to be notified when I go live. You can find that in the description. And uh, we'll do a bunch and bunch of uh, terraforming around here to make this area look, look nice. So yeah, well guys, look at this. We've got ourselves a pretty darn awesome farm here. And there we go, look at it go. Haha. <laughs> so one thing will happen is the snowballs will coalesce in the center a little bit, but a good majority of them will fall down, be caught by the hoppers and be stored away. 
Let me store it away in our little uh, hoppers down there looking super fancy. And don't forget, this poor guy needs a name. Look at his face. He's so sad. He's like, oh, please, Scar, please give me a name. Please be, please give me a name. So then we can come on down below here and check our boxes. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. And then eventually I still want to maybe add some stained glass into the walls here and there. But for the most part, oh, we need to fix this. Scar mistake. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's just a scar mistake. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just a scar mistake. And let's see. Let's um, let's put it um, right here. And there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. And I do really hope you enjoyed this build. And hopefully you have incorporated it into your own world. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. If you believe the video is worth rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later.